Welcome back to another video of the Before We Buy series where I talk about brand new skins and uh, give my opinions and impressions on them. And in this video, let's talk about DWG Jin. So as usual, let's start with the splash art. Unlike Invictus Gaming back in Season 8, the splash art is once again shared by the whole team. So we will only focus on the individual champion and in this case, it's Jin. In the splash art, he is in the center of it and he is presented as sort of like a godly being even amongst his other teammates, which is very fitting for Jin. His textures kinda suffers a bit because of how far his position is in the splash art, but detail wise I think he is still well presented. There are some minor inaccuracy like the length of his shirt and the spike on his pauldron, but it's not really that big of a deal. And uh, overall, I think Jin looks quite appealing here, even if you are not a fan of the team. So uh, let's move on to the in-game model. The model itself looks pretty good, but he looks a bit skinny here. And I think because of that, he lost some of the imposing vibe that we get in this flash art. Design-wise, I still like the skin. The Greek-like concept is still pretty cool. I especially like his mask. It is simple but it works really well with his hair and the Greek style crown. His clothing is also pretty good. It has some good details and textures even though the color palette is uh, mostly blue. His recall is also pretty good. I like it and it's not as cringy like some older champion skins. The weakest aspect of the skin for me are his weapons. I don't necessarily hate it. It's just not my taste. And uh, also during his ultimate, his pauldron slips on his face. I'm not sure if that is a bug, but I just felt like pointing that out. It's hard to notice it in game because it zooms out, so I guess it's not a deal breaker. Only perfection. <laughs> Only perfection is acceptable. Killing you will be one of my finest works. Watch my puppets dance. For the visual effects, they look really nice and I like the style that they went with. My only minor issue here is the mark passive on his W and the triangle that pops when the mark expires. Both of them are just a bit distracting for me. The same triangle pattern can be seen when his fourth shot is ready and when his traps are triggered, but uh, those effects are fine for me. I actually quite like it on his fourth shot. For the sound effects, they sound good to me. The autos are fine, Q and W are good, and I like the sound effects of the trap when you trigger them. The explosion is pretty good as well. As for the ultimate, the music is good to me. But the impact sound effects of the fourth shot is not that satisfying. It barely differs from the first three shots and uh, I would like it to have more oomph, you know, because it's the fourth shot. Overall, the visual effects and sound effects are still pretty good.
As for the elite chroma, it looks fine, but I still prefer the base chroma because it looks cleaner with the white mask, and also I prefer his red hair more than the white one. Overall, I still like Dumb One Gaming Jin. The concept is cool and I like the overall design of the skin. Is it the best epic skin for Jin? No, I don't think so. Jin have so much great skins in his wardrobe that it's hard to say. But if you like what you see on this skin, I don't think you will be disappointed. So uh, that is pretty much what I like and uh, don't like about the skin. What do you think? Do you like the concept for Jin? Are you a fan of Dumb One Gaming? Leave a comment down below and if you think this video is helpful, why don't you leave a like? That would really help me out. Also consider subscribing if you want more content like this one. And uh, if you hate my voice, I upload standard skins and chroma showcase that might help you out as well. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.